Mm -hmm. Well, hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first Messy Church live stream. It is so good to be with you. Now, if you can hear me and see me do this, if you can hear me and see me do this, do this, do this, yeah! I'm so excited that we can all be together as a Messy Church family, even over a live stream. So welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm part of the Messy Church team here at Chip and Salisbury Baptist Church. And this afternoon here in the building, we have Rebecca, one of our Messy Church team. We have Adam, one of our Messy Church team. We have Paul, one of our Messy Church team. And we have Rachel and Ian behind the scenes at the camera at the back doing all the camera work. So we are going to get started started. Now, some of you may have been delivered one of these bags at home. And if you haven't, but you would like one for the next live stream, please let me know. You can comment on whatever you're watching on and I will get in contact with you. Now, this is how this afternoon is going to work. So normally, if you were in the building, we would have an hour out there playing games, crafts, and then we would come in here for a celebration. But this time we're going to do it the other way around a little bit. So we're going to have our celebration service and then you can go off the live stream and do all the crafts that's in your bag. And I will explain as we go through the service what type of crafts that you've got in your bag. So you may have noticed a little bit of a theme going on with this bag and with the crafts. There may be a pumpkin in your bag and there may be some leaves, you may have some leaves and lots of colouring and things like that. Now, one of the things you may have in your bag is a tree, but the tree's got no leaves on. And it says, I am thankful to the Lord. And then another one says, give thanks. And so this afternoon, we are looking at being thankful being thankful to God for all the amazing things he has done and given to us. So the first thing that I need you to do after the live stream, not now, is use your tree. And if you don't have a bag, you can still make your own tree and use some leaves that are also in your bag. And we're going to just write some praise some praises and stick them all over the tree. So all the amazing words that you can think of to describe God, stick them on your leaves and stick them all over this tree. So you have a tree of praise to God. Now remember that for when we finish our live stream. And then we've also got in this bag some leaves. Now some of you may already have guessed what this is for some leaves and some crayons, and that is so you can do some leaf rubbing afterwards as well. So you put the leaves under paper, you get your crayons, and you rub, 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 and you make some really pretty pictures. And we would love to see those pictures as well. So if you make some great pictures, make sure you take pictures, post them on the Facebook, send them to me, and we will have a look at them. And we may be able to share some next month as well at Messy Church. So I'm going to start by reading a psalm to you, and that is Psalm 106, verse 1 to 3, which is what we're looking at this morning, really. And it's give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Who can list the glorious miracles of the Lord? Who can ever praise him enough? There is joy for those who deal justly with others and also do what is right. Now, are you ready to praise God? What was that? I can't hear you. Are you ready to praise God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we are going to start with a messy church favourite, and that is our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Now, you can sing along. The words will be on the screen, and the team will be out doing the action, so you can follow along with us. God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hand. Our God, our God is a great big God. Our 
Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hand. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God, our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his last time. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Oh, jazz hands. Hello. Excellent. Am I on? Yeah, excellent. Um, so it would not be messy church if we didn't have a really silly game um, to get us all kind of feeling a little bit silly and, and ready for having some fun. So we're going to play a good classic game of Would You Rather? And boy, have we got some wonderful questions for you today. So um, you need to know the actions for this. If to do the thing on the left, that's your choice. You get to put your hands on your head. So I think everyone at home, stand up. Stand up nice and ready to do the actions. And if you'd rather do the thing on the right, you get to wiggle your fingers. Okay, so hands on head and wiggle finger fingers. And we're all going to be doing it here as well. So the first one, you may have seen it already, is would you rather have to eat only broccoli for breakfast, lunch, and tea for a whole week? A whole week of only broccoli eating. Uh, I like broccoli, but that's, that's a lot. Um, or have to drink only broccoli smoothies for a whole week so if you every time you have a drink you've got to have a broccoli smoothie which one would you go for oh yeah oh we've got we've got mixture here what about you at home i wonder it's all broccoli it's all broccoli okay <laughs> let's change something something a bit more uh, a bit very different this one so trying to think of a bit bit of the time of the year i thought we'd go for a fireworks theme would you rather get to go to a fireworks display whenever you wanted so, oh, can we go to a fireworks display tonight? Yep. Or would you rather next year have two birthdays and birthday parties? Oh, and, and some people might have missed some birthday parties this year. So I think I'd go for that. Oh, uh, we've got lots of wiggly fingers. I think I prefer fireworks displays. Whenever. There we go. Okay. Right, next one. Hmm. This was, was just an interesting one. Would you rather smell like mashed potato for a whole month? So, you know, no baths, nothing making any difference. Or would you rather have a piece of corn stuck in your teeth for a whole month? Very odd one, this one. Oh. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, yeah, no. Mashed potato. Oh. <laughs> Even two meters apart, you can still, still smell mashed potato. Okay, excellent. Next one. Oh, this one's quite fun. Would you rather make a snow angel or make a fallen leaves angel? Uh, no comment. Uh, yeah, snow angel. Of course, we, need, we want snow. We want snow. Okay, next one. Now, this was, yeah, another silly one. Would you rather have to wear underpants on your head all of tomorrow? 
I went for tomorrow because some of you will be going to school or work. Or have to wear the same pair of socks for a whole month. <laughs> yeah. Smelly socks. Lots of smelly socks in here. We know there's a smelly, messy church team. Right. Um, <laughs> next one. Oh, this is a tricky one. Would you rather have a magic carpet that can fly or have your own personal robot to do, you know, do your jobs? Oh, I'm going to have to go flying. We've got lots of flying here. Yeah. Okay. Next one. So, would you, oh, this is interesting. Would, would you rather only be able to whisper every time you spoke or only have a really loud voice? I'll go for whispering. <laughs> yeah, I've already got a really loud voice. There we go. Okay. Right. This might be, I think this is the last one. Yeah, would you rather, and this is good for this time of year, clocks are changing next in, in the next week or so, live somewhere where it's always dark, and some people do live in places where it's always dark through half the year, or live somewhere where it's always light. Light for me. Oh, we got a Paul would rather the dark. I'd rather the, yeah, if you've got a good torch, I suppose. Excellent. Well, I hope you had some fun with that at home, and hopefully um, had some discussions about why, because some of those are really silly. <laughs> Excellent. Right, it's time for a story. So if you're all sitting comfortably, then I shall begin. Now, this story is again about being thankful and saying thank you for things. And it's from a wonderful book called the Jesus Storybook Bible. You might not have it, but you might have a Bible at home that has a story very similar in it. So let's find out what happened. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was. Listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to go, because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. And besides, that kind of food wasn't invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home to go and get their dinner. They don't need to go home, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town and buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have, Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd and he had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000 people, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said, but they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. And so the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans and Jesus knew the one who is the very beginning and had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch. He looked up to heaven and said thank you to his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more, and more, and more. Enough for 5,000. 
everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths, until they were full. And still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God has been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking the nothing and making it everything. Taking the emptiness and filling it. Taking the darkness and making it light. I hope you enjoyed your story. And I'm now going to pass back over to Rachel. Thank you, Rebecca. What a great story that is. And I wonder if you've heard that story before. I've heard that story a few times. And um, I've been into re the schools recently and done that story as well. Some of you may remember the rumbly tummies. Do you remember? So this time, when we looked at this story, we spotted something very interesting that happened. And you may have heard that part too. So when Jesus took the little boy's lunch, what did he do with it? When he took the little boy's lunch, what did he do with it? He thanked God for it. He said, thank you to God. And then that lunch fed loads and loads of people. Jesus was thankful for what he had that day. And that is what we are looking at this afternoon. I wonder what you're thankful for. Um, I've been thinking about this this week. What are the things that I'm thankful for? And actually, I like to remember the things that I'm thankful for when I'm having a pretty rubbish day. When I'm going about my day and it's not going very well, I think, but I've got food, but I've got, I've got family, I've got friends. And I am so thankful to God for those things. I wonder what it is that you want to thank God for today. It's been a pretty difficult few months, hasn't it? But within those few months, there have been things that have kept us going, kept us happy. I wonder how many of you joined in Joe Wicks' PE sessions every day during lockdown. That's something that I'm thankful for because it got me up and it got me ready for my day. And I'm thankful that I had Wi-Fi to watch that that day. I'm, God has blessed me with Wi-Fi to watch that. And I wonder what else there is in your life that you're happy for and you would want to thank God for today. And now this brings me to my challenge, okay? So if you can repeat after me, challenge time! Can you say that at home? Challenge time! Right, so this month, your challenge at home, okay? And you may have been wondering why I put this pumpkin at your door this week. So, you have a pumpkin challenge, okay? So, this is going to be your thankful pumpkin. You can decorate your pumpkin if you want. You can name your pumpkin if you want. And you can put it somewhere in your house for the next month that you're going to see. Every day when you get up, when you're walking around, you can put it on your windowsill, somewhere in your living room, give it a name if you want, make him look cool. And then what I need you to do is to write down the things that you're thankful for. So you've got a month, okay, as a family, till next month, keep that pumpkin somewhere in your house. And every time you go through your day and you think, actually, I'm pretty thankful. I'm pretty thankful for that friend who helped me today. I'm pretty thankful that I'm able to sit down as a family and have a meal together this evening. If you think that you would like to thank God for that thing, write it on your pumpkin, just like in the picture here. In the picture that we've got, I think people are thankful for cheese. Cheese. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty thankful for cheese as well, yeah. You're also thankful for cookies. I, yeah, I like cookies too. Swings in the park. I'm guessing this person's been to the park on the swings. And flowers. So I wonder what it is that you want to thank God for this month. Um, spend the month filling it. You don't have to fill it all up today. So that, because you're spending a month doing it, it means that you can think about it each day. 
and be, watch out through your day and think, what do I really want to thank God for today? And at the end of your day, write it. Come home from school, come home from work and write it on your pumpkin to thank God that day. And that is why I've given you a pumpkin. And I know some of you wanted to fry your pumpkin. That's not what it's for. Some of you wanted to make pumpkin pie. That is also not what it's for. Some of you wanted to carve the pumpkin. But no, this one's not for carving. This one's for writing on. This is your thankful pumpkin. And make sure you send your pictures in because we would love to see your thankful pumpkins. And now David, one of our messy church family, has already sent me a picture because he's given his pumpkin a hat already and David asked if we could share this picture so David here, here you are with your pumpkin now make sure you write the things you're thankful for on that pumpkin too okay so we are coming to the end of our messy church service this afternoon but before we do we're going to sing a song and this is a song that talks about everything that we have been sharing this afternoon. Some of you may know it. It's called um, Give Thanks to the Lord. And it goes, Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. Now get up off your sofas, get ready to dance, sing, follow along with the words. And I hope you enjoy. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise With a mighty hand And an outstretched arm His love endures forever For the life that's been reborn His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise, sing praise. Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong. Forever God is with us, forever. From the rising, from the rising to the setting sun. His love endures forever By the grace of God we will carry on His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever. Sing that again. Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever. Love endures, His love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Forever. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us. Forever. Excellent. Well, I'd like to um, finish our service today with a prayer. 
And at the end of this, as usual, you can do your wind up. Amen. At the end, that'd be wonderful. Um, so let's pray. Thank you, God, for uh, the fact that we can join together through technology as a messy church family in these strange and difficult times. Thank you, God, for the people who look after us. Thank you as we think about winter coming for warm blankets or central heating to keep us warm. Thank you for the food that we have to eat. Maybe we've already had today and we've got later on as well. Thank you for friends that make us smile. And thank you, God, that you love us and you made us. Thank you that you have a plan for us. And thank you that you say uh, in your word that every good and perfect gift comes from you. We pray these things in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. And uh, we're going to play you out now on the live stream with Shine, a messy church favorite. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll see you next month. Don't forget your pictures. Send pictures in. Bye. The world will see you live in me. Shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. You know me and you love me. You feel me. So send me to shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. Shine. i